Hey folks, getting ready to launch here with Bart Swab, and um, what do you want to tell us about where, where we're at, what we're going to fish for? Yeah, we're in uh, Ponte Vedra, Florida. We're at a saltwater lake, and we're going to go out. we got a pretty strong north wind today. Uh, this is my first time riding with the Torquedo, so I'm really excited to see how it's going get, to get, get us back in the lake. It's a nine mile long lake. So uh, getting back in a couple miles with this north wind would be kind of tough without it. So uh, I, I definitely know how that feels. So I'm looking forward to seeing how uh, get, getting a chance to ride out with the Torquedo is this morning. Nice. So, uh, you know, I happen to be down here and I actually talked with uh, Jameson Redding who gave me your contact info and I said, yeah, let's, let's get out there and let you try out some of our motors. Um, we have the... I'll be using the 403 AC. You're going to be using the 1103 on the. Um, I have the the Jackson Kilroy HD. So let's nice. go take a look at that real quick, and we'll get we'll get out on the water. Yeah, let's do it. Let's take a little bit before some, the sun comes up. Yeah, get get a top water bite or something going. Right, so here's my 403. That'll get um, this out back up to five and a half mile an hour. I'm not sure what this one will do. The uh, the Jackson Kilroy with that open cockpit design, three horsepower. Um, this is the prototype. So we've been getting up into yeah, looking forward to planning it out. In, into the it won't play. In, we're still in <laughs> displacement, but it's uh, it'll get up into the the mid sixes for sure. Nice. Um, but we'll find out. I've been working on a. Uh, a steering setup. I have sliding foot pegs that uh, the product development guys at Jackson had given me and I just put those little brackets those uh, little L brackets on there connecting to the, uh, the track that's like everywhere on this boat which is awesome. So the, the advantage is you're able to with this boat able to move the seat very far forward and getting that weight forward makes a huge difference. Nice. Look right. forward to it. Let's go find him. Time running it. What do you think? Nice, man. It's pretty easy to pick up. So if you look at the if you look at the screen on the if you look at the screen on the throttle, the top number is your battery percentage. The next number is your remaining range at whatever throttle setting you're using. The next number is your speed. The last number is your watt draw. So you're going into the wind, and I know you're not going full speed because I, yeah, <laughs> you're not pulling away. <laughs> I'm not 4.3. Nice. I'm yeah. yeah, now he's pulling away. It's hard to believe I'm going almost five miles an hour. Yeah. Right. What is your uh, what does the remaining range say on on that? So it would be the second number down. Mine says nine point nine point four miles of range. Thirteen point two. Yeah. So that's the efficiency of the eleven hundred watt motor. You you and I are going the same speed. That prop and motor is the more efficient of the two. So you have better range than I do, even though if you were to gun it and you can go, you know, six and a half, close to the seven mile an hour, you're going to suck down that battery power faster than I will going that speed, but I can't go that speed. So at the same speed, you have better range with the 1103. So what distance are we running right now? Like wh where are we headed? What's our... We're about two miles. Okay. So having the motor helps getting, getting two miles Oh uh, yeah, we're going five miles an hour. Right. Get, get with a, with a, probably a 12-mile-an-hour 12 12 mile north wind on us. So yeah. Heading, so heading into 12-mile-an-hour wind, going two miles. Going with paddle paddle. Right. <laughs> so we'll get there quicker. Nice. There's a start. Yeah, that's a start. 
What do you hit? Little uh, three inch Seaman paddle tail shrimp. Nice. Okay, we're going from one spot to the other right now. Got to drop down our speed a little bit. Put it about 2.5. Controlling speed. It's normally pick them up and doing that speed when we're paddling across. So I thought it'd be good speed to give it a shot while we're out for torpedoes today. Just gotta keep it right at, right at that slower rate and see if we can't pick up a hit uh, while we're making these drifts. We got a lot of wind. As you can see, we've got some a little bit of a little bit extra chop on us for sure, but just kind of take advantage of having the motors with me today, cover a lot of distance, uh, crisscrossing the flat. Yeah, part of doing what we do, uh, kayak fishing, is knowing when to make a call. Uh, while the, the lake here is very productive, we do have a strong north wind today, and you can probably see in the background here, we got some pretty high chop. Uh, it's actually dropped down a little bit right now. It's been pretty brutal. So we're gonna go uh, switch up and go grab some breakfast real quick and go hit a east-west creek to escape this north wind. Hey folks, today I'm in St. Augustine, Florida with David Hernandez and uh, he's gonna show us his Kaku Voodoo uh, that's, that's rigged up with a Torquedo Ultralight. You got a, like an old school uh, Ultralight 403 here, man. That's a pretty sweet steering setup. Tell me about your rig. Um, I love my uh, Torquedo Ultralight. I've been using it for the past year now. Uh, Break it out on my uh, my Voodoo here. Added a tiller handle to it because there's no way to foot steer. Um, fastest I've gotten on it is six and a half miles an hour. Uh, it's awesome, awesome uh, motor, brushless. Um, I uh, use it here in St. Augustine. Got my Voodoo rigged out with Scotty and uh, Yak Attack ram mount accessories. Uh, what else can I say? I also got an umbrella out there when it's hot here in Florida. <laughs> got lights on my boat for fish at night. Love to fish at night. Uh, what else? Nice. Also got um. So what are the what are the you know what are your your favorite species down here to catch? What do you what are you fishing for mostly? I mostly fish for redfish and, and um, flounder. Yeah. Um, this time of year the sheep's heads start coming in. Right. So we've been preparing that in the shop. We started um, stocking fiddler crabs. Um, I love sheep's head fishing, it's such a challenge. Um, nice. great, and great eating fish also. Yeah. Um, we catch all kind of other fish, drum, black drum here, speckled trout, um, mangrove snappers this time of year. And also we catch the kind of, um, the bull reds have been here, so. Nice. Great fishing here in Florida, all year round really. So, we've switched up now, we're uh, come over to a, a local creek that kind of runs east-west. It starts off freshwater, which is uh, back up on the west side of it. Uh, I-95 will probably see us up there in a little bit. Uh, hopefully that's uh, later on this evening when we go up there to chase snook, uh, right, up, right where the brackish water kind of goes fresh. But uh, for right now, we're gonna shoot out and see if we can't stick a few redfish, flounder, and trout out of the, the last deep hole of this creek going out onto the flats. about casting angles in relation to um see it, dude there he goes in relation to you know a shoreline in particular so we were casting initially um perpendicular so the shoreline is your high percentage area and if as you cast perpendicular and bring it out the only you know there's only like five percent of the of the cast is in that sweet spot so what i did and i'm just going to show you here in a second i'm going to pull in front is i i pull right along the edge of it and let the wind blow me into it and i'm casting parallel with the shoreline really pulling into it so in order to get that higher percentage you know from 
for 100% of your cast, I'm casting down the length of it. I'm actually going to swing my rod tip in and tuck it almost underneath these overhanging branches. That's what I was doing when that guy hit. But instead of having like 5 or 10% of your cast in the sweet spot, you got pretty much 100% of you know your, your cast right along there just by tucking into the bank and just tucking your uh, your cast as close to that that grass edge as possible yeah. oh large mouth very cool I he pulled me out into the channel I was doing the same thing kind of tracing right along the edge thinking hey we'll get another nice red fish but instead I get this green fish hey we got you know all these saltwater species and Here's something familiar to me. I mean, it's not a nice small brackish mouth, water too. It's not a small mouth, but he. Uh, this is totally what I'm used to catching. So nice one. All right. Um, the last two fish, the redfish and the largie, came on the diesel minnow with the trout eye, quarter ounce trout eye jig head. Uh, Z-Man Elaztec, the diesel minnow. This color is called redfish toad. And I just got, I gotta retie that, that leader. I think that's a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. And um, just casting right along this edge here. It was somewhere in this area, but you see where these, these grass clumps kind of point out a little bit. He jumped on it, so that's cool. micro snook <laughs> but all the way up here in northeast florida we're only one cold front away from these guys uh all heading south for a couple years so really any snook this far north is kind of a in a way a little trophy so we'll let them get back in i'll have suck, suck my thumb just for a second when i put them back in what's really cool about doing this with them is you can do this with a little pint size like this or you can take a uh a 40 inch or 25 pound fish Hang off the side of your kayak and do the same thing. Let them suck on your thumb. We don't have bull sharks in this area, so it's a, it's definitely a little safer than it is in South Florida. But it's really cool to watch like a 40 inch fish just sit there and suck on your thumb. All right, light's getting low. I got a, a couple more questions to ask you just um, about really your guide business. And you know, I, I think the fun question to ask is, Give me your personal best for for each species, and I don't mean your personal best. I mean your client's personal best. Yeah. Of so redfish. Start uh, with redfish. Redfish, 44 inches. Yeah. Uh, spotted sea trout, 31 inches. Yep. Uh, snook. I had a guy on fly catch a 32 inch. Oh. Uh, that that was a uh, that was a nice way to, to do the snook uh, for Northeast Florida. That's a, a definite uh, trophy. Uh, black drum, probably. 15 to 20 pounds. Don't know the length on those guys. I just catch them and drop them. Uh, croaker, about 14 inches. Right. <laughs> nice. So how do folks get in touch with you, man? Uh, Action Kayak Adventures is uh, my, my guide business name. Uh, you can visit it at uh, www.actionkayakadventures.com um, either Facebook or Instagram. Uh, check out that. It should pop right up. And uh, located out of St. Augustine, Florida. Uh, been running it since 2011 so uh, it's been been a fun ride a lot of things have changed in the kayak world obviously I'm uh, trying out uh, some, some torpedo action right now to see if this fits into it and it's Ooh. definitely a, uh, a huge plus getting this far back in uh, just do some scouting what do you think of it overall first first day using one and the 1100 watt at that yeah uh, it probably it's like Probably like going out fishing for the first time and catching a nice bull red kind of spoils you. Uh, using the, the the really nice one uh, for the first time using a torpedo. It's 
been nice, uh, really, as far as I've used a rudder uh, in, my, in a lot of my paddling kayaks. So the, the foot system just really was uh, just kind of taken off from there. Uh, it's really nice to have the power. Uh, it's like like having a rudder back there with a little bit of a little juice to it. Nice. Well, I've enjoyed getting out here with you, bud. Oh yeah, man, it's been a lot of fun, dude. I'm glad glad you got to come out and spend the day. Uh, we've caught some caught some smaller fish, in, you know, that are in the estuary. Caught our target species. We just didn't. Uh, or we I, I, we still got a little bit of sunlight left, so we haven't yet caught that bigger one that we're looking for. But you know, the sun's not down yet. And we're not on the launch yet. So let's see. Cool.